everyone, it's me once again, Janice May. And before anything else, I want to thank everybody for the votes and the support. We are in the top 100 of the FedEx Small Business Grant Contest. And I want to thank you. Um, I am determined and now inspired to put paper beading on the map that it is an alternative to metals and plastic that basically you can do anything with paper and you can look elegant and stylish and uh, it's a great uh, fun jewelry that can also last a lifetime. So today's tutorial is how to make a perfectly graduated necklace like the one I'm wearing. So this is just strung on the fishing line ready for dipping. It's not even dipped into the vibrance yet but as you can see it starts from the smallest and it's perfectly graduated to the larger size making a simple beautiful necklace. So on to the graduated paper beads tutorial. Hello everyone, so I'm back. I will be showing you how to make this graduated necklace. So it starts out this from the smallest and it is not a necklace. I just strung it on the fishing line. But this is done rolling one strip of paper. This is two strips of paper three strips and it just goes from the smallest to the bigger biggest down at the bottom so the middle one here my, my like focal bead I did by rolling uh, nine strips of paper together so let me talk to you a little bit about the, uh, the strips of paper. Um, I sell them like this. It already comes in one bundle and there's about 120 strips of paper here. But you can also cut your own strips if you have the patience to do it. Why not? So the length of the paper is 17 inches the base is half an inch so you will ask like where do I get that long magazine what it is is just uh, a magazine that would be big enough this is one of my zoo magazines when you open it like that, this is 17 inches across, okay? So, you see? That's how long this way, your strips of paper. So that is what you use, or you can use like, um, really like a wrapping paper or something, but they wouldn't be as thick. Uh, you need a little bit thicker page. So that's where you will cut your paper from. Uh, 17 inches long or the whole width of your magazine and half inch here. Um, and the materials you need, um, I'll be using the bamboo roller because the neat thing about the bamboo roller you can roll many strips of paper and then I just strung this on a fishing line and I call buffer beads you know just like seed beads to put in between this is just glued using Mod Podge and this is uh, the hard coat so it's hard. You don't even have to glaze it, to be honest with you. But if you want it 
to last for a long time, then you would need to glaze it. So I use the Vibrance. You can use other types of glazes that you have available in your area. So now let me show you how to roll the paper. So again, I don't need to show you how to roll one strip. That's one strip. It's graduated, right? So I started with one strip, two, three, four, five, six strips of paper, and the focal bead is nine strips. So I just strung this for dipping, but that can be also the design of your necklace. And you can put beads in between. It can be silver spacer beads. It can even be pearls. It can be wood. It can be glass so many possibilities so let me just show you how I roll this paper so for example I'm going to roll the five strips okay so you need to take five strips and that's my phone Somebody just messaged me on Facebook. Hello, Facebook. One, two, three, four, five. I hope this is five and not six. Well, if it's six, then you get like a fatter bead. So you roll it as one. And first, I'm going to open my glue. You take your bamboo roller and put it in between. Instead of putting your paper in the middle, put it close to the handle. That way you have more control and more grip. So, very easy. You just start rolling. You want to smooth it out. Be careful of the paper cut because that can be really painful. It can hurt. So just try not to run your fingers that way. So you roll your strips, smoothing it out. keeping it in the middle okay I know are you asleep yet <laughs> okay almost almost just keep rolling it keeping it in the center fixing it every now and then and when you are almost to the end, when you're about here and you have about two inches left of your tip of your paper, I can start just applying glue right there. So this will prevent your paper from moving. Okay, and when you're here, again, I'll just dip my finger here, and I will do the sides like so, the back, and on the inside, and then I continue rolling it and then I will just the rest of the glue onto the bead so you are at the same time applying base coat to your bead 
then you just simply take it out from your roller just around of the hole and there you have your bead this is rolling the five strips together this is this bead so what I do is I roll several once and then I string them into the fishing line ready for dipping into your vibrance or just leave it as it is so um, it's 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 very easy it's very simple and you have a perfectly graduated necklace like that okay I will put the link on the video where uh, D or myself is showing you how to glaze your paper beads so I hope it's a fun tutorial today and I hope you learned something till next time thanks for watching